One thing you can do, however, with poly surfaces, if you need to modify them, is you can start selecting individual elements. And these commands aren't new to Rhino, but there is a way of interacting with them that is new. If you hold Shift and Control, that toggles sub-element selection. You'll notice if I left click on my geometry here, it's going to select the whole thing. But if I hold Shift and Control, this is just going to select an individual piece. And what I can do is I can move that thing around a little bit. And in some cases, it's going to mess with the geometry. So use it with caution. If you're doing planar transformations to your geometry, it is a pretty useful tool. So what I can do is I can hold Shift and Control and perhaps select this edge, and it's going to affect the result. So I can select multiple elements here. So it's transforming the sub-objects. I'm just going to hit Escape to cancel that because the transformation was probably doing something that was generating thousands or tens of thousands of new control points, and we want to avoid that. I can also do things like scale my sub-elements, and that will affect the resulting polysurface. So this is actually starting to look like a pencil. So if I pull this thing down a little bit more, and there we go. It's a start of what looks to be a pencil. And this is where the graphite would go. So again, to select the sub-elements of a piece of geometry, you hold Shift and Control. Alternatively, you can enter these commands manually. And these have existed in Rhino for some time. So you can use the Move Edge command. and what that's going to do is that's going to prompt you to select an edge and then it will prompt you for a move point. So I'm going to select a point here. I'm going to hold control and click that point which will toggle on vertical transformation mode and I'm just going to move that myself. Likewise I can also use the move face command which will actually take this whole face and move it up and down. So again I'm using the control key to toggle vertical transformations on and off. And that's basically it for sub-elements. I want to cover a couple more things before we move on to some of the fabrication content for this lesson. So one is, and this is getting into sculpting our poly surfaces a little further. So I'm going to copy my weird pencil slash straight table leg here. Actually, Let's do this. Let's flip this upside down and then move this vertically and turn on the near, turning on the near objects snap option and that will basically lock my cursor to any point on a curve or an edge. 